right, the dispute over who should take the reins of the Balubedu tribe between uh, Princess Masala Nabo and uh, her brother, Prince uh, Lekurkela uh, Mujaji, looks to be far from over. The Pretoria High Court on Monday stood down the case to challenge the Balubedu Royal Council selection of uh, Prince uh, Lekurkela Mujaji as king. Uh, the case was lodged by former ANC Chief Whip. Matola Matsecha, uh, who's uh, the foster parent and advisor. The matter was held in camera. Residents of Bulovedu continue to react to the decision to put Prince Lokukele on the Mbunjaji throne. This follows this installation last week where he was installed the king of the Bulovedu nation, which was for the past 200 years led by females on that throne. Today we saw the High Court in Pretoria postponing to Friday a court uh, application to set aside that decision that Prince Lokukele should be the occupant of that throne. Right now we are at Khaban Township just outside Mujaji to speak to more residents. One of them is Mr. Clement. Clement, thank you so much for speaking to us. First of all, today there was a court sitting which was supposed to hear this application by Princess Masala Nabo and her lawyers that uh, her brother should not be uh, occupying that throne. You as a resident here, what are your wishes? Uh, as a resident of Lovedu, uh, Khapani, uh, let me start by saying, in every kingship, there will always be rivalry. People, there will be people that will always oppose the right person. We have seen that in the Zulu land. But we thank God because the president and the leadership of South Africa were able to recognize the right hair. It's the same case in Wulubir. We are having uh, our queen, Masala Nabo, as the right hair of the throne because she's the daughter of the late queen. So this rivalry we are seeing in Wulubir, they're trying to confuse themselves. Because they know themselves, she is the right heir to the throne. So as the citizen of Lobedi, we will be very glad and we believe that the, this government of South Africa will do the right thing, which is to uh, issue a certificate for our queen. We are waiting to celebrate that. They came to Mukokwaila to come and introduce us, the citizens, uh, to our queen. So we are waiting to celebrate. This uh, Lugugala issue, we don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. I believe that that throne belongs to Masala Nabo because she's the rightful hair. She has the blood of the queen. And they must stop this confusion that they are doing. Pr Prince Lukukela also has the blood of the queen. He's also the son of the queen. That is the truth. But uh, we are known of queenship. And this, their story that they are coming up with, I don't, I don't get it as, as the citizen. When I grew up, we, we used to have the pride in the queenship. That's how we are known. Even Elizabeth, she knows that there is a queen somewhere in Bulovedu. And then if we were to change that history, we are rubbing everything off. Where will we be as a nation? Where will be the culture of our people be? So we believe that she will win. Thank you so much. That is but one view of one resident here in Bulovedu. But I must indicate this is not common across this area. It's just that a lot of people are not willing to speak on camera. Some are saying the royal family has the right to decide who they want to put on the throne. Others are saying it appears that uh, the royal council has been asking for money to fund this court bid, saying that it, they don't understand how long they will continue to pop up money for this court battle.